All right, in this video, I want to prove that the variance of a constant times a random variable x equals that constant square times the variance of x. Okay, and um, first, I want to actually I want to start with what is the definition of variance and write that down over here. So the variance of random variable x equals the expected value of x minus the mean of x. Sometimes that's written as mu a squared. Okay, so it's the average distance, average square distance from the mean. By definition, that's what variance of x is. Um, I also like to write this as the expected value of x minus the expected value of x squared. Okay, and the reason I like to write it like this is because that's what mu is. Mu is the expected value of x. It's the average x value. Okay, um, and so let's go ahead and use this and figure out what the variance of a times x is. Okay. So the variance of a times x. So everywhere I see an x, I want to plug in a times x. So I have the expected value of a x, okay, minus the expected value of a x, okay, and then square it. So it's the average distance of a x from the mean of a x, okay, so the average square distance. Okay, so then from here, I just need to do some math and some simplification, figure out what's going on here. Um, start, let's start with this right here. So the expected value of A times X equals A times the expected value of X, okay? And um, I showed this relationship in a previous video in this playlist, and I'll provide the link to that video in the description of this video. Okay, but this is a known property of expected value. So for right now, I'm going to go ahead and use that and plug it in. So I have AX minus A times the expected value of X, okay, squared. So basically, I plugged in A times the expected value of X for expected value of AX. All right, from here, I'm going to go ahead and notice that I have a like term. I have A in both spots there, so I'm gonna pull that out. And I have the expected value of A, X minus the expected value of X. Okay, I have to be really careful here with my parentheses. Okay, so then this, this parenthesis closes this one and it's squared, okay. All right, so then I can square each piece of this product Okay, so I get the expected value of a squared times x minus the expected value of x squared. Okay, so this is basically, once again, I can use this property here where I have the expected value of, this is basically a constant, right? It's a squared, but a, remember, can be in this property, a can be any any uh, constant on the real number line. So the constant basically is a little bit different, it's a squared instead of a, but it's the same idea. And then this is basically a random variable because it involves x. So it's basically this x here and this a here. So I can use the same property and break up this expected value. Okay, and what do I have? I have the expected value of a squared Time, oops, sorry, since that's a constant, it's not the expected value, it's just the constant out front. So it's just a squared times the expected value of x minus the expected value of x squared, okay? And then by definition, this is variance. This is what variance is. So I have a squared times the variance of x. All right, so I've shown, I've proved this relationship is true. The variance of AX is A squared times the variance of X.